Good morning, fans. I'm back again. Well, what an experience. I'm not long out of prison. You knew I went to prison, didn't you? Did I tell you I went to prison? I shit you. Five days they gave me. Five days in prison. I'll tell you about it later. Um, I, I, I got a... I don't know whether you know me or not. My name's Ron Bishop. Mad as a maggot I am. But anyway, um, I get a bit excited sometimes. And I do things I shouldn't do. So, um, <laughs> this last time I painted a hotel called the Hydro Grand here in Timaru. <laughs> it's a bloody old pub. Nice old pub, but no bugger likes it anymore. And they, you just, the owner just lets it rot to pieces. So I went down and painted it up at six in the morning. <laughs> Got arrested by the cops and um, finished up in bloody prison. I want to tell you what it's like in prison. I'll, 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 I'll uh, going to do another video. I'm not doing it on this one. I'm not going to do, do it for free either. You're going to have to pay to find out what it's like in prison. Um, yeah, because at the moment, uh, uh, my webmaster, he's not too well. He's, he's like me. He, he, he has a, he, he has something wrong with his uh, brain. Um, well, not something wrong with his brain, but something wrong with his body. You know, it doesn't it doesn't work right, and and the brain doesn't work right, and my brain doesn't work right. And I've been um, they've been looking at my brain when I was in prison to see what's wrong with it. You see, because it's broken. They reckon it's broken. They told me I had um, what they say I had Alzheimer's disease. You see, so it's all broken. It's shrinking up. Um, and, and, and it got, of course, I got the bipolar disorder. You know about that, don't you? But I've got them buggered, you see, because they think they can't understand why I'm so happy all the time. Because I'm always happy, you know. And they never find me sad. <laughs> and while I was in prison, I was reading this book by a bloke called John Kerwin. Have you ever heard of him? He used to be an All Black, played on the wing for the All Blacks. Anyway, he, he, he had a blackout. He he, he, uh, he got depressed once, and uh, yeah, he was really sad. So so he was he he wrote this book, and called it's called All Blacks Don't Cry. I think that's what it's called. All Blacks Don't Cry, some of that. Um, and he read, and I read this book. You see, while I was in while I was in prison, and you know what? He's never been manic. He's never had a high. He always had depression. He never had a high. See, manic depression is when you have highs and lows. Well, John Kerwin never had any highs. He always had lows. And I'm thinking to myself, well, why don't I write a book about highs? Because I'm always high, right? I'm always elevated, <laughs> as my black man says. By the way, my black man, he's my shrink. I'm allowed to call him a black man. I think he was, I think he was born in South Africa. Margaret said he was born in South Africa, same place as Nelson Mandela. Bloody good bloke. Oh shit, and a, and a good shrink too. He knows his stuff. He knows a crook brain when he sees one. <laughs> and he's seen mine a few times. He couldn't believe it when he first saw my brain. Said, Holy hell, this brain's really broken. It shrunk right up, and this man's going to lose his memory. <clears throat> very quickly. But I'm going to fool him, you see, because I, I'm not. I've fixed my brain. I can fix it with humour. I use humour. Uh, the buggers, they've never heard of humour, you see. See, when I broke the... When I when I painted the pub, I did it because I, I wanted people to laugh about it. It's got... Oh, God, I don't know how many views. People are still looking at it. I've left it open so people can look at it. Six-minute video. Bloody hell, it's funny. But you see, the trouble is with the shrink. He, he, can't, he can't understand um, <laughs> how I can paint a pub at about six in the morning and then video it and then uh, own up to it and get the cops, but he will come and arrest me, uh, put me in, 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 uh, in a cell <laughs> in, in their, in their uh, police station. And now I didn't. A few days later, I'm told I've got to go to prison, and I've been in prison for five days. 
God, it's a funny video. But Jesus, I tell you what, you're going to have to pay. When my mate gets better, my, my, mem, my webmaster gets better, uh, he's going to um, make you pay. So, the, the video, my videos, you'll have to pay to see, to see them, you see. And I'll tell you all about the prison. It's going to be exciting. You'll love it. It's five days and I recorded everything while I was in prison. So, uh, the, you, can look, the, you can look forward to that. Now, how long have I been going on this now? I don't want it to go too long because you, you switch off. I'll make it short. Well, anyway, here I am. I'm back. I'm back again. You can't hold me down. <laughs> and that bugger that keeps ringing up the missus, the cops are on to you. You're going to jail, mate. You're going to bloody prison. I'll make sure of that. Stop ringing my wife at all hours of the bloody morning. <laughs> okay? Because the cops are on to you. Bob's going to get you. There's no doubt about that. Listen, folks, see you later. I've got a bit of work to do today, and uh, uh, I'll tell you some more about stuff later. Or, oh, just before I go, I want to give you some names of some people. Just a minute. Have you ever heard of these people? Sir Winston Churchill, Lady Diana Spencer, Marilyn Monroe, Richard Nixon, Charlie Pride, Elton John, John Lennon, Marlon Brando. Have you ever heard of any of those people? Guess what? They're just like me. They all had a mental illness just like me. <laughs> we are bloody famous. If you have never had a mental illness, you're not bloody famous. Okay. See you later. Bye-bye.